Time uh, to Capitol Hill, where you are looking live with the Senate, days away now from a vote on yet another extension of unemployment benefits, $34 billion price tag. Not a penny will be paid for, because Senator Harry Reid says that is the way it's always been done. Mike Riggs says not so fast. Mike's with the Daily Caller. I don't understand this. So, so they're going to do this without paying for this, and Harry Reid says there's a history for this. Yeah, the, the idea is that uh, anything that counts as emergency spending, which is what they're passing this off as, uh, doesn't have to be funded. But that's not actually true. Uh, Democrats agreed to offset uh, unemployment benefits in November 2009. So it's, it's, it's completely not true. They could actually use stimulus funding. Uh, we have $180 billion in stimulus. And they, uh, and they, uh, denied, they, 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 they didn't want to do that, right? The Democrats said no to stimulus funding. Where Republicans said, sure, go ahead. We're for extending these benefits as long as you pay for them. The money's there in stimulus. It's sitting in like a credit line, a made-up credit line, but it's there. And they still said no, right? I mean, insofar as Democrats have said the stimulus money is there, yes, this is true. Uh, the problem is if, if Democrats agree to use stimulus money to offset unemployment benefits, what they're essentially saying is that money uh, would not be better spent uh, creating jobs, which people have been saying since February 2009. Um, and, and that's why they can't do it. It's, it's essentially uh, giving up on one of the biggest projects that they've had since Obama came into power. All right, but if we keep doing this, Mike, and as you've astutely reported in the past, I mean, we, we've extended these benefits time and again and taken nothing away from people who, who need some help and all of that. If you, don't, if you can't pay for it and, and you, you keep pushing on a credit line to, to, to pay for something that we, we can't afford, then what? I, I don't know. I'm not, I, I don't have a crystal ball in front of me, Neil. But I, the idea is that eventually we, we're going to hurt ourselves if we keep spinning like this uh, with, with no checks, no offsets. Um, it, but the truth is it's very, very, very easy to offset this stuff. But we Republicans the are the ones money. looking like villains because they have given that easy offset and idea, and Democrats have rejected it, yet they're painting Republicans as the scoundrels. They are. And Republicans, if you've noticed, have basically said the same thing over and over again, which is we are more than happy to pass unemployment benefits for those Americans who were, you know, hard, hard affected by the mortgage crisis. Uh, they're not saying much else because they don't need to. Essentially, Democrats are in a position where if they, uh, if they concede that they can use stimulus money to offset it, then they're stimulus program looks terrible yeah. and if they don't concede right. it then the party in power can't help anyone crazy 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 mike thank you very much mike riggs thank you neil all right when we come